Hi! Although this racket was just dropped off for its regular restringing, I plan to do more than that. In fact, I decided that this racket and its owner would make the perfect scenario for this video. I'll customize my junior student's old two-year-old racket and transform it into a new racket. All right, let's get started. All right, so as I mentioned in my intro that uh, this racket and its owner as the inspiration for this video. So let me fill you in. As far as the racket, it's a Yonex game. It's uh, 100 square inches coming in at 9.4 ounces, which was the ideal specs for him a couple years ago. The player, his name is Caden, he's now 14, and he plans to play high school tennis this year, but he's still physically on the smaller side. I created a previous video titled Junior Guidelines and Progressions where I presented the ideal racket specifications for various ages and stages in skill development. Alright, so now coming back to Caden, I could offer him two options. One, buy a new racket and upgrade to something like this uh, Prince Tour 100 in the 290s uh, weight. Or option number two, customize his current racket and help him transition into this racket eventually. Well, for the purpose of this video, he's going with option number two. Now that we're going with option number two, the goal is to get his current racket halfway up to the specs of the racket that he'll eventually be switching to later this year. So earlier I mentioned that this was at 290. And we'll take a look at the static weight of his Yonex racket. And it's coming right under 270. So the difference between the two rackets is 20 grams, which is quite a bit. So I know that I want to add 10 grams of weight. Now we're going to take a look at the swing weight. And this number is probably more important than the actual weight itself. But um, the swing weight of that Prince racket is about 290, 295. And if we take a look at this Yonex racket, it's uh, under 270. So again, that's 20 units of difference, and that's quite a bit. And that's what players will feel the most, as I mentioned in some of my other videos. And basically, you want to get a higher swing weight so that your racket will feel more stable, especially if you're playing against harder hitters. And I always say that you don't want your racket to get pushed around. So I'm going to add 10 units of swing weight to his current racket. All right, so this is step one of two, how I'll customize this racket, where I'll add weight to the head. And I went ahead and predetermined how much lead I add. I'm actually gonna add to the head by applying these uh, test lead tape strips, which I've done in other videos. And uh, it came out to a total of five inches of half inch with lead tape. And I cut it in half, so it's actually two and a half inches. That's doubled up right there. And I did focus on the 10 and 2 o'clock areas of the frame because I like the uh, combination of power and stability and how it enhances the racket and its performance. So I went ahead and uh, figured out that that's how much I need to bring the swing weight up to 280. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually coat the uh, lead tape with this urethane spray. And because it is for a child, I just want to be safe that it is covered and that um, the only real way that it'll harm someone is if you were to rub your thumb on it and lick your fingers. Uh, so with this spray on there, it'll uh, prevent that from happening. The uh, only other way that it will be harmful is if you actually ingest the lead tape, which I'm sure it won't happen. All right, so I just completed the lead tape application and I have it here. And um, 
you'll notice that I have some painters tape on the frame. So I have it in areas right up, a, right up to the lead tape so that it's going to protect the uh, frame from getting the urethane all over the places that I don't want it. But uh, this is what I did. I just cut about a three inch length of uh, painter's tape and I just wrapped it around right up to the edge of the lead tape where, where it ends. And again, I'm just protecting the frame. So again, when I spray it, I don't get it all over the place. So, so basically when I spray, it's just gonna be right in that area right there. Uh, but I still want to protect the other parts of the racket just for overspray. So I just got these uh, scrap pieces of paper and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it around the frame. And then I'm just going to secure it with uh, another piece of tape. So this is just going to stay on during the, uh, the spraying of the urethane. So I have this one over here. Then I'll put another one, I'll put one on each side. And when I spray the urethane, I am gonna speed up that video, but it is gonna be uh, four layers of clear coat on it. So I just wanna make sure that I'm gonna be thorough with the, uh, the coating and um, I got one more here. So yeah, this process will take a little bit longer because I want to make sure that each coat dries and then um, before I apply the next coat. All right, so that's what the racket looks like. So again, I'll be just spraying and focusing on that one, those two areas of the frame right at 10 and 2 o'clock. All right, so I finished the four layers of that clear coat urethane and uh, I'll include some pictures. Also, I did want to mention that I double checked the swing weight to make sure that it didn't increase and it stayed at 281. So even with those four coats, uh, it's the same. All right, so the next uh, step is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add weight to the handle. And I'm going to do that by adding silicone. And first I'm going to take the weight to confirm what amount I'll need to add. So right now it's at 272. So that means eight grams need to be added to the, uh, the handle. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm taking off the uh, trap door here and I'm going to shoot the uh, silicone into the uh, four grams into one chamber and four grams in the other. So in the end, what's gonna happen is um, once I achieve that weight, I'll double check it. I'm gonna put the trap door back on. I'll, uh, I'll have some uh, shrink wrap that I'm gonna put uh, before I put the uh, <laughs> trap door back on. And then I'm gonna hang it up overnight so the uh, silicone can settle. And then I'll come back tomorrow and string up the racket. Welcome back. So we're gonna do the final inspection of the racket specs. So I had the racket here hanging overnight and you can see that there's the shrink wrap there that was placed on the uh, butt cap end of the racket to prevent the silicone from sticking to the trap door. And I'll go ahead and uh, put that back on here. All right, so our targeted swing weight was 280 and uh, Last night it was at 281, so it shouldn't change, but we'll just double check to, just to make sure that the spec is still there. Uh, yep, so it's at 281. And then we're gonna take a look at the overall weight. 
uh, static weight and again the targeted uh, static weight was 280 and it's at 281 so that works out so next I'm gonna go ahead and string up the racket and I'll go with the same string setup I had previously I had uh, Prince Lightning Pro 17 on the mains and Prince Vortex which is a polyester 18 gauge on the crosses All right, so just cleaning up the racket here uh, before Caden's mom comes to pick up his racket. Uh, she told me that he's gonna practice with it today, so that'll be good. Then uh, hopefully after practice, if he can come over, um, I can get his reaction and see if he could tell the difference. Do you wanna know how I customize the racket? Yeah, how did you do it? You gotta watch the video. Ah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Happy customization. <laughs> hey, hey. Kaden's here. How was practice today with that racket? It was really good. I felt something different though. Could you tell it was different on any of your shots? Yeah. If I really like the strings and I could feel some extra weight which helped me power up my shots more. Okay, good. I'm glad you could tell. Uh, do you want to know how I customize a racket? Yeah, how'd you do it? You gotta watch the video. Ha! Thanks for watching. Happy customization! Let, Let your, your strings, strings play. play.